What's up guys? I haven't done an episode of the Versus series in a while, mainly because I didn't think anyone was really worth doing that hadn't been done yet. But today, that's all changing. Post Malone and Sway Lee are probably more alike than you think. Sonically, they're both hip-hop artists who fall more on the side of really singing than rapping. They both have huge careers over the past few years, and they both inhabit the sort of middle ground between rap and pop. Their sound is hard to pin down, and since they both have albums releasing around the same time, this is the perfect time to pit them against each other. If you see my last Versus episodes, you'll still want to listen up, because I've changed things around a little bit. Instead of awarding points and telling you who's better each round, I'm going to make a case for each of them. And it's you guys who get to decide the winners of each category in the comments. The categories again are lyricism, flow and delivery, production choices, and image, meaning everything from how they're perceived in the media to business ventures they might have. Let's get started. Lyricism. Sway Lee is only one half of the duo Ray Sremmerd, but even though he's splitting time on most songs with Jimmy, he still has the opportunity to get a few bars in. Sway's lyrics tend to be focused on the life he's living right now, and that's a lot of partying, girls, relaxing, everything is done to the maximum. That's what makes Sway Lee such a good fit for a lot of these pop songs. His heaviest lyrics deal with heartbreak and other emotionally relatable topics. Post Malone, on the other hand, only really gets into party mode for some of his bigger songs. Congratulations, which is arguably his biggest record, deals exclusively with partying, but he's never really carefree. He's got plenty of lyrical content about his frustration making music, his feelings about his ex, and unlike Sway, he shares a lot with his fans about the times that he feels down. Flow and Delivery It's pretty hard to separate these two guys here, just because they do cross over into this singing area, but their singing isn't classically trained, and it's often helped with a little bit of autotune. In my opinion, a little autotune makes things sound great for both of them. Post has this deep baritone that kind of reverberates, and Sway's got a higher pitch feel. Both of them are fantastic additions to whatever songs they feature on too. Sway's feature on Unforgettable, for example, takes a song that, with only French Montana on it, would be average to bad, and it makes it a pop hit. Now let's get into production choices. The production choices for the singles we've gotten to hear from Swaycation, Sway Lee's new project, are energized and tropical. It's really staying true to the style that got him and Ray Sremmerd hot in the first place. At times it can border on Nickelodeon sounding pop music, especially on songs like This Could Be Us, but overall I love that happy light feel I get from Ray Sremmerd's production choices as a whole. The same can easily be said for Post Malone, who chooses production that is right in his wheelhouse. He's heavily influenced by artists like Bob Dylan and a little bit of country, which comes through in his songs often. There's usually a melodic guitar driving the song and synth backing up to create a feeling like you might be in a room one on one with Post spilling his emotions. Image. Our last category is Image, and both of these guys have it in spades. Neither one is doing tons outside of hip hop, but they really don't need to. At this point in their careers especially, they need to focus on their craft and keeping their huge fan bases happy. If I want to party, I'm picking Sway Lee every time, but I'd probably listen to Post Malone any other time. There's just more substance behind Post's music for me, but every kind of song has its time and place. It's pretty hard to pick a favorite here because they both offer something so unique to hip hop. And overall, there's plenty of room for both of them. Whether you're in the mood to party or just kick back, Sway and Post are both great choices. But I want to hear what you guys think. Is Post Malone better than Sway Lee? Or would you rather listen to Swaycation than Beer Bongs and Bentleys? Let me know in the comments. If you liked the video, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And find me on Twitter at Thomas K. Welker and let's talk more about Post Malone and Sway Lee.